Welcome to the Hematology series, a series of informative and short videos on hematology. In this video, we will briefly be covering the eosinophil. Eosinophil development and maturation occur in the bone marrow when myeloid precursors are exposed to interleukin-3, granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor, and interleukin-5. Interleukin-5 plays a critical role in the last stages of eosinophil differentiation and causes eosinophil migration into the bloodstream. The maturation of eosinophils occurs in stages. Myeloblasts first develop into promyelocytes. After this stage, promyelocytes mature into eosinophilic myelocytes. These cells then develop into eosinophilic metamyelocytes, eosinophilic bands, and finally eosinophils. The nucleus of eosinophils is usually bilobed. However, a nucleus containing three lobes are sometimes found. The lobes are connected by means of thin strands. The cytoplasm contains an abundance of pink-orange granules. These specific or secondary granules are made up of a dense crystalline core, a matrix, and a membrane. They contain many mediators capable of causing inflammation and or tissue damage, such as basic proteins, cytokines, chemokines, growth factors, and enzymes. Other granules contain Charcot-Leiden crystal protein. These crystal proteins have lysophospholipase activity. The average size of an eosinophil is approximately 14 micrometers. Eosinophils and neutrophils have similar functions. They respond to chemotactic stimuli and phagocytos and kill pathogens. They are also involved in the regulation of immediate type hypersensitivity reactions and serve as the effector cell in antibody-dependent parasite damage. Some of the other roles of eosinophils include the modulation of lymphocyte recruitment and homeostasis, and the regulation of T-cell development in the thymus. They even perform the function of antigen-presenting cells. Eosinophils have a circulating half-life of 4.5 to 8 hours. In tissues they survive for 8 to 12 days. A normal absolute eosinophil count is less than 0.5 times 10 to the power of 9 per liter. Eosinophilia is defined as a rise in the number of circulating eosinophils. Primary causes of eosinophilia include chronic myeloid leukemia and other myeloid and lymphoid neoplasms. Eosinophilia can also be hereditary or idiopathic. Secondary causes include parasitic, bacterial and fungal infections, allergic disorders, skin disorders and graft-versus-host disease. Circulating eosinophils less than 0.01 times 10 to the power of 9 per liter is defined as eosinopenia. This could be caused by acute stress or it may be drug-induced. Eosinopenia is also found in Cushing syndrome, acromegaly and systemic lupus erythematosus. Thank you for watching.